Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Death Breath, where I do spoiler free film reviews and sometimes celebrity interviews. Today we're reviewing Kevin Smith's Tusk, the king of quirky comedy. You might know Kevin Smith from such films as this or this. Let's get into the good standout performances by Michael Parks, the villain of this film. Who the Apparently, fuck is that guy? he was in this and this. I don't know who that guy is. Either. What I really love about this film is the fact that it deals with the loss of humanity. Like, the things that make us human is our ability to go freely and reproduce and make our own decisions. And this film manages to play on that body horror element where you're stripped of the things that make us human. Very much like if something bit off our fingers. It's like, oh no, we're no longer human. Now let's get into the bad. Here's the thing, when I started watching this film, I thought, this might be one of the greatest movies ever made. Kevin Smith might have went full Jordan Peele, and I just somehow slept on it and didn't realize it. Unfortunately, that's far from the case. While this film feels fantastic the entire way up until the midway point is when things just hit the wall. It suddenly goes from being a solid horror film that's really uncomfortable to feeling like a bad SNL skit. <laughs> and what's unfortunate is right when that moment hits and it becomes that way, Johnny Depp happens to appear on screen and he does this really goofy inspector accent. It's so bad and so cringy. I sleep like the breastfed baby. I nearly debated on turning off the film. The costume of the walrus man looks so stupid and fake. Give it a rating A through F. What is Kevin Smith's tusk? It's a flaming hot F. It is a piece of stinking garbage. And to think that it could have been an amazing, amazing movie. Such a good beginning up into the middle. It's like we could have just done away with Johnny Depp, or Johnny Depp could have played it straight. It would have been fantastic, but instead, no. Let's make everything excessively goofy and excessively stupid. It's like it could have been a brilliant horror movie. Maybe a little cheesy in the vein of Basket Case, but it still would have been a good movie. But instead, this is just a forgettable piece of schlock. Anyways, thanks for watching.